Welcome back to Ed Hunt. So, as the name suggests, today we are doing a room tour for 2022. So today I'm going to show you around my room, I'm going to uh, show you some cool games, I'm going to show you some rare games, I'm going to show you some cool artwork, I'm going to show you all sorts, everything that's going on in this room. I'm going to show you loads of bits and bobs. I'm going to try not to focus too much on toys, I'm going to try to focus mostly on games. So, let's get straight into it. So first let's start with just behind me. So as you can see, got Pokemon Typing Adventure up here. Got this recently from uh, CEX for, I think it was like 32, 33 pounds with vouchers, but you know, did not cost a lot at all. Uh, let's give it a little open, because I didn't actually open it in the, um, in the pickups video. So let's open it now, I'll give you a quick look inside. So as you can see, like the game is just in, I think it's still sealed, isn't it? uh no actually i don't think it is sealed anymore uh no it's not sealed at the game but it is an absolutely mint condition it's like unused like it's it's amazing like i can't believe the condition of this and we have uh my switch light uh which i actually purchased off my sister uh she already has the original switch and a switch oled so she gave me she sold me this for a good price so I'm very happy with that then underneath we've got low we've got a few um import uh genesis and mega drive games the two here are both japanese fat man and oh, i can't remember the name of this one um rastan that's it uh, i know rastan is a game that a few of my buddies are quite into and then we've got fighting masters just above it and then we've got all these master system games now you might remember they were actually uh here before in my room but i've had to move them here just because i'm about to try and make space so we've got like wonder boy free at the top california games which is an amazing port of, of uh, california games on the master system way better than mega drive version psycho fox rescue mission wrestlemania uh, i won't go through them all got some global, global gladiators mcdonald's game that i'm really into i've uh, got sonic 2 tasmania i've got another uh, sonic 2 down there got ghostbusters um Donald Duck down there as well. Donald Duck was actually one of the earlier box games I actually got for the Master System. And then we've come here, we've come to the top. I mean, like, we're just, we're just going higher and higher with the Funko Pops and the figurines just because we're just running out of space for them, you know? I mean, like, as a lot of people will uh, attest to, it's quite hard to keep a lot of Funko Pops, you know, unless you've got a lot of space for them. So it's just a selection of ones I've got recently. I'm not going to show all of them. Uh, I'm just going to show you some of the cool ones like Liu Kang, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, all from like the Mortal Kombat 9 series, I think. I think, but this looks like Mortal Kombat 1, uh, Liu Kang, so it's probably Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, we've got a Bixacur up there, love that. There's only a Fiverr, Riho, which is uh, um, a recent purchase from Smith Toys. Blanca really like this one this funko pop blanca but absolutely love it sakura one that cost me 20 quid right as i said we're not going to concentrate too much on toys let's go over here to the n64 games now this is one of my oh, just absolutely love this i played it to absolute death when i was younger pokemon stadium 2 absolutely love it it's one of the it's one of the rarer games on the n64 as well but you know what? i don't even have it because of that i have it because i love it and i play it actively it's brilliant this game uh then we've got wet tricks which is quite this is a cool game it's a cool puzzle game very different um if you're up for something like a slightly different challenge this is this is a good one Turok, well-known dinosaur hunting game shadow man game i don't know too much about actually uh body harvest lilac wars fantastic amazing game i think this, this didn't come out too long after the 64 was launched came in a big box with the rumble pack which i don't have unfortunately i could have got it for about 10 to 15 pounds at one point i kind of wish i did uh world cup 98 yeah i've got them two or three times actually and that's the japanese version of majora's mask the zelda uh then we've got twisted edge fighters destiny clay fire 63 and a third nagana winter olympics kidder instinct you know what? A lot of people don't like this port. I really like it. We've got South Park down here. Again, like a game that's because uh, it's made by acclaim. A lot of people like dislike it, but I actually quite like this. It's like a first-person, um, like I don't know, a bit like Goldeneye in a way. But you attack people with like snowballs that, and you can like power them up with your pee. Uh Then we've got F Zero X, Pokemon Snap. This is, you know, the, I haven't played the remake, but this is just brilliant. I love it. I didn't actually play it until years later. I thought it was a bit lame when I was younger. Then I played it when I was older. I was like, actually, this is great. Uh, got Turret 2. Warzone. Terrible. 
uh, Beetle Adventure Racing, this American version, as you can see that ugly ESRB logo. I hate seeing that because you see it on a lot of like fake Pokemon games and like obviously America are used to it, but I'm just like, oh man, that's ugly. Do you know what I mean? At least on our, on our one, you don't even have it there. Do you know what I mean? It's just like not there. It's golden, obviously. Uh, we've got Japanese baseball game, F1-0. I will skip these N64 games, just go through a couple of, um, yeah, there's, there's a few there, mostly Japanese, mostly import those ones. Right, so then we've got some SNES games down here, and these are the first of a lot of SNES games you're about to see. We've got Mortal Kombat 2, Loose, but I've got, that, I've got the box for it, but it's over there, Jurassic Park, and then we've got loads here, Batman Returns, Olympics, um, Tetris and Dr. Mario, which I have boxed as well. Um, like these are ones that I, I, I've actually been playing, that's why they're here, Home Alone. And we've got, uh, yeah, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Hard as hell, but brilliant. Um, we've got loads of like loose Mega Drive games down there as well, and some Master System games, but again, you're gonna come to, we're gonna come into more of those soon, so I wouldn't worry about too much about them. Then coming to this little display here, we've got loads of uh, loose Game Boy games. We've got uh, Pokemon Silver, probably one of my favorite Pokemon games. Uh, portable games of all time anyway. Pokemon Stadium 2 is probably one of my favourites. Then we've got McDonald's Land. Really enjoyed this, really enjoy playing it. Uh, we've got Makimura Gaiden, which is a Demon, uh, uh, Demon's Quest, I think, the Game Boy version. And, uh, or uh, Gargoyle's Quest, sorry, Gargoyle's Quest. And uh, yeah, I've got this from a good friend of mine and yeah, really, really good game. Um, we've got a game here, which not a lot of Americans know about. This is Asterix. Now, um, Asterix is a European comic. I think it originated in Holland or in Denmark, I believe. I'm not sure, or maybe Norway. One of the one of the three. Um, and I mean, if you're English, if you're British, you probably will know about Asterix because it was just like here, then everywhere. But yeah, a lot of Americans don't know about this. But yeah, Asterix is everywhere. Like you, um, especially back in the 90s and the 80s, you see a lot of comics and a lot of TV shows and stuff. And, um this game is interesting it's just a bit just a platformer but i think a lot of people would enjoy it. it's a bit of a hidden gem um and yeah i kind of recommend playing this good and then we've got uh dr mario classic uh we've got pokemon gold right here as well this needs the battery changed um we've got mortal kombat the original this is terrible uh zool game that i really enjoy playing on, on the amiga um We've got, what else have we got up here? <laughs> Get a clue! <laughs> By American, actually. And I know a lot of people are hated on this. And obviously, Angry Video Game Nerd did a review on it. And he actually did, didn't call it a terrible game. And I got it for like a pound. So I was like, you know what? I don't care. It's in my collection now. Uh, and then, go over here. And we've got my limited edition Pokemon Special Edition 2DS. Love that. Got that back, oh, I've had about like six years now. I got it in 2016. Bloody hell. Um, and then got a section of PS4 games. Obviously, Tekken and Mortal Kombat 11 being the ones I get mashed up the most. Uh, we've got some more PlayStation 4 games behind Guile here. Uh, we've got Ansakura, Sengan Kagura, Estival Versus, Street Fighter, Final Fantasy. That's actually still sealed, and so is uh, Steins Gate. I still see one as well. And this is kind of the start of my Switch collection. So, so uh, these are some of my more recent pickups. Got Cinemora here, um, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. I've been playing through uh, Curse of the Moon recently. It's really good. We've got uh, Brilliant Diamond. Um, obviously, the new Pokemon games. We've got Shining Pearl. I still sealed. Um, I haven't actually put that one on yet. Uh, we've got Pokemon Shield. Uh, Super Mario Maker, which I got um, at the boot fair in a previous episode, which I can link below for you. And then we've got uh, Legends of Zelda Link's Awakening. We've got Paper Mario Origami King, also still sealed. Haven't started to play it yet, so I've left it sealed. Uh, Captain Subasa, Rise of the New Champions. Um, again, that's been around for a long time, actually. Um, not many people might know that. And we have Flipping Death, which is just the code. But I haven't actually even tried to put the code in yet, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, it does work. And then we've got some... Then we're going to move on to the Mega Drive games, because we have got quite a few to go through. So we've got these Blue End uh, Mega Drive games first. Uh, we've got... Master Super Army, uh, Mortal Kombat 3, Mega Bomber Man, Virtual Fighter 2, Eternal Champions, Lion King. We do have more down here as well, more of the blue end ones. We've got Premier Manager and uh, another Eternal Champions. But yeah, this is the, the vast majority of my um, 
Mega Drive games. I'm not going to try and take any out because this displays a little. You know what? I'll take a couple out. I mean, I've got Fatal Fury recently. Um, obviously, part of the King of Fighters franchise. Uh, it's quite a, quite a weird beat em up. Like, if you're into like Street Fighter and stuff, but or more on a like a casual level, I wouldn't recommend this. I only recommend this for like kind of more advanced kind of fighting fans. Uh, beat em up fans. We've got uh, a Pit Fighter here as well. Uh, open that guy. She got that from Keenan. Uh, which is a retro monkey uh, put his Instagram below did, he, did me a good deal on this actually this version is actually that bad uh, the SNES version is terrible but yeah this is a, a lot better so um, yeah pit fight on the Mega Drive right I just tried to take one out and it felt like they were all going to fall so I'm just going to leave that you can just have a quick look at the Mega Drive games that I have here uh, show to say some highlights got Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle um, got that for a tenner I think from the London Gaming Market Green Dog uh, the beach surfer dude, which is just there. And we've got gods just here as well. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Really happy to add that to my collection recently. Ariel the Little Mermaid, uh, Castle of Illusion down there as well. We've got Mortal Kombat 1, the one with the blood. Uh, we've got Super Hang On down there, boxed as well. And yeah, we've got some Zool and Terminator, Sonic Spinball. Yeah, we've got some good titles down there too. Now we're moving on to a part that I wasn't in the previous um, room tour because it was just kind of blocked out. This is like the vast majority of my Game Boy games boxed. Uh, and I'm gonna show you a few of them. So I've got Mega Pocket Bomberman here. Now I've got, actually got this as part of a bundle of other like manuals and empty boxes. And then I've managed to get the box, I mean managed to get the game for like a couple of quid, like three or four pounds. In fact, no, was, I think it was a pound from the boot fair. So, like, I completed this for like next to nothing, and this is a rare game. This is hard to get. This is hard to come by. It's about a 40, 50 pound game. So, really happy with that. Uh, got this uh, rescue of Princess Blobbit. I actually, got this when I was in Leeds with uh, Courtney. This was only a tenner, and I thought for a boxed um, Game Boy game uh, complete for ten pounds, I thought that was amazing, especially in this day and age. So. Yeah, I was very happy with that. Uh, some of the highlights here as well. Uh, we've got obviously Mario Land and the six golden coins. That's a that's a really nice uh, box game. Really like that. It's pretty good condition as well. It is complete. We've got a uh, Super Puzzle Fighter Two. I got this one off um, Tom from Pizarro's Pieces. Um, so really thank you for that, Tom, because that was a really great deal you gave me for that. Uh, it was only a tenner, so um, and this normally retails a lot more. So really happy to get that. Cheers, Tom. Uh, then we've got like what else have we got here? That's interesting. Kuda kuda kuda. This was only three pound thirty three. I remember getting this from London Gaming Market last time out, where they had free games for a tenner, and uh, yeah, really couldn't say no to that. So uh, let's try and get to some of the rarer games I've got here. So I've got Mario Tennis on the Game Boy Color. This is actually part sealed. I don't know if you can see, but you, it is actually sealed around. You can see the seams still around the side and the end uh, my brother gave this to me um, because oh, he's kind of got out of collecting now and it is the American version as you can see the ugly ESRB down there and we've got Gargoyles Quest which I also got from Keenan uh, but this was uh, this is a fake box it's got the real game in it but yeah it's cool uh, then we've got a few more games we've got from Leeds here we've got uh, Puffy Amiyumi and we've got Tessa Tessaray uh, let's see what we've got back here. We've got a Japanese version of Pokemon Yellow. Now, I got this for £10 from Alan's Retro Game Sales. And I bet he's kicking himself because this is going for a lot more now. I mean, the box is open at the top, but it's all right. So, um, I'm quite happy with that, really. And I remember getting this as well. I got this from the London Gaming Market, DuckTales. And the guy sold it to me for like £2, £3. I was absolutely shocked. It's complete, it's got the game in there, the box is in nice condition. I have no idea why I sell this to me so cheap, um, but I was very, very happy to receive it. Uh, we've got another part sealed game here. We've got um, Perfect Dark on the Game Boy Color. And as you can see, it's flapping everywhere. I was never really into Perfect Dark. Um, I was more into GoldenEye. And when I did play Perfect Dark on the N64, I know a lot of people were impressed with it, but personally, I was not. Uh, so I'm not a really big fan of Perfect Dark, even though you probably see I've got a, a box copy of it as well on the, on the N64. So we've got a few more back here. You can see Tekken Advance. You can see uh, this is like a Disney American football game. Uh, we've got, uh, I think it's Pino B, this, this game right here. And we've got this is Mario Land, uh, Japanese version. I'm going to quickly show you like just how 
bad condition that this is in. Like, it's just so bad condition, but it was three pounds. So I don't care. Um, it's still boxed, it's still there. So it's great. Now, just above, as you can see, GTA Vice City uh, soundtrack, which I got in uh, the most recent episode, actually, just the episode before this, um, is complete. It's really nice condition. I will open it up again and show people because oh, I love it. And uh, yeah, got all the ones here. You've got uh, Laszlo presents uh, Rock. Then we've got yeah, we've got Pepe presents S. I can't even read that. Espatanso. I'm guessing that's like another language that one I didn't listen to because I didn't understand it. So just about obviously behind that we've got all these juicy nice boxed N64 games all in full view. So starting from the top we've got V Rally 99. Actually one just behind that is uh, Extreme G. We've got Banjo Kazooie, Nagano Winter Olympics, Blast Core, Perfect Dark, which I was just uh, cussing out just then. Uh, no Mercy, which is one of my favourite games on the 64 of all time. We've got Diddy Kong Racing, Bio Freaks, Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey, Super Mario 64. We've got Hardcore ECW Evolution, uh, which I actually really enjoyed this. Like I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I did. Uh, F1 Grand Prix, Xenia Warrior Princess. Now this is actually mint condition. I was so happy to get that. Got it from Play Nation Games in Croydon, and it was only ten pounds. And now you can't get. You won't be able to get that for less than sixty, seventy. Uh, Wave Race. Uh, just below Wave Race, we've got F1 Grand Prix Two. Now I actually got this from Amsterdam uh, when I went on a little hunt back in 2019. Unfortunately, that was before I started my channel, so I was unable to film it. But that was an amazing hunt, and one day I'm going to go back and do another hunt there. We've got Rugrats, Body Harvest, ten. Snowboarding and Forsaken. Now, as you can see, I've got this comic uh, which I actually won from a competition on Instagram run by the Venetiques of Surrey and it has a grading of 4.5 fantasy masterpieces. Couldn't believe I won it. Thank you so much, Luke. Uh, I know it was a random thing, but yeah, very, very happy to have won that and yeah, I feel honored. Thank you so much. And then we've got all these PS1 games here. Some of them are a bit dirty condition, as you can see, because I got from I got from the boot fair. Um, but yeah, they're just kind of lined up all there. They're not in any particular order, unfortunately. They are just kind of here, there, and everywhere. But yeah, these are the two I'm playing at the moment Mortal Kombat Deception and Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. And they are absolutely fantastic games, uh, especially Shaolin Monks. If you've got a buddy, play it co couch co op, play the uh, story mode, it's fantastic. And Deception also has a really good one player uh, uh, campaign mode. So yeah, again, highly recommend both those Mortal Kombat games on PlayStation. Now we've come to a few nicer pieces in my collection. Um, the stuff that I kind of like to have on display behind me during my videos. Uh, we've got, this is the jewel. This is Top Gun on the NES, signed by James Rolfe, the angry video game nerd. Uh, someone who I'm a massive, massive fan of. And yeah, I just can't believe I've got this. I know it's legitimate, I know it's not fake because uh, I've seen the picture of him holding it and him signing it next to my body so I have no reason to believe that is fake and uh, no, that's genuine so that's cool then we've got Smoke and Sacrifice which is a super rare game that I got from last year's uh, Eurogamer uh, which is probably possibly one of the most disappointing Eurogamer uh, conventions I've been to but super rare games fortunately saved it somewhat and I was able to get this cool game Smoke and Sacrifice they only had about six or seven available but yeah, I was very happy to get that. Uh, then we got Donkey Kong 2 on the snares. This is the Japanese version. Uh, it's quite nice condition. I'm really happy with that. And just beneath it, we've got Earth 1 Gem 2. Oh, I can't really pull that out because Top Gun's sitting on top of it. Uh, we've got Tekken next to it. Got a Rick and Morty, um, what's it called? Cereal. That is just, that is actual cereal. I know a lot of these, they, they say they're cereal, but they're not. Their uh, T-shirt, but this that is actually cereal, and I dread to think what that cereal is like now. Uh, we've got this photo here. This is of me and my uh, older sister. This is in 1994, and you can see I'm eating an ice cream pretty much as big as my head, and I'm wearing a. I love that cap. Like if I could get that cap back, I would. Look at it. Look, Taz on the on the side. That was awesome. We was actually at Disney World um, in Florida. I was only seven, and. Uh, that, that during this holiday, this is when I first played Mortal Kombat 2, so that's when it all kind of started, the Mortal Kombat kind of affinity. But yeah, I love this picture and I always keep it on display, me and my sis. Uh, and then we've got, yeah, Shaolin, uh, Shaolin? We've got Shao Kahn 
uh, McFarlane figurine. Really like that. Got like Neo Geo pocket here. And I got this for, uh, it cost me five pounds. It was sold as junk, but would you say this is junk? I mean, it doesn't have its batteries in it, obviously, but it works, do you know what I mean? And clicky, clicky. I've got a Game Boy Advance down there too. And we've got some arcades just for display purposes. So down here, as you can see, I've got my uh, console set up. I've got a Super Nintendo there, which I can also play Mega Drive games and Game Boy games through, which is just brilliant. PlayStation 4, N64, with Mario 64 in there, obviously. And PlayStation 3, which has the four USBs, so I'm able to play PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games in it. And then we have a old school Mega Drive here, the Mega Drive 1. And we have a GameCube next to it. PS1 just below, uh, old PlayStation just beneath it. So as we start making our way around the room, we start to see DS games. Some of them are sealed. I'm not really too interested in these, but then we've got some more loose N64 and Game Boy games. And we've got some loose NES games here as well. <laughs> Should be dusty. Um, we've got Mario, we've got Adventure Island Part 2, another Mario, that's what that can't. We've got Flintstones, unfortunately this is not the one. Uh, uh, this is the rescue of Dino and Hoppy. If this was um, something at Dinosaur Peak, we'd be talking a lot, a lot of money there, but it's not that. Uh, Swords and Serpents, and we've got Little Nemo, the Dream Maker. And we've got a bunch of uh, Game Boy, more Game Boy games here, more and more Game Boy games. And then we've got some boxed Super Famicom games. Uh, they all, I just love these. They look so bloody cool, man. And they're so cheap as well. I mean, they were. I don't know if they are anymore, but most of these games cost me between like five and six pounds. Do you know what I mean? Like, honestly, they were cheap as chips. Um, some of them were something more expensive, obviously, but I say the most expensive one I've ever bought was probably about 15 quid. Honestly, they're just not that expensive at all. So. If you can find them cheap, get them because they are going to be worth more money in the future. Because of their, how many there are of them, and the fact that in Japan, obviously, there's like Akihabara and there's boxed Super Famicom games everywhere, you know, they will eventually go uh, up in price, but you know, it's a waiting game. And then we've got more loose SNES games down here, and more loose carts, and more, and we've got some Game Boy Advance games there as well. Some Game Gear games, some Game Boy Color games. So in this corner we've got uh, box NES games. Uh, they are very hard to come by and this is pretty much my whole collection of NES games uh, that I've been able to find over the last like, three or four years. Uh, probably the best one being Mario 3 at the end. Absolute classic, still has its original uh, sticker seal at the top as well. Jappa was very nice enough to give me his instruction manual so that is actually now complete. Uh, and that only cost me a tenner, so that was that was great. And we've got turtles in the corner there, that was only a tenner. Uh, we've got some DVDs in this display. There used to be a nicer display in there, but the UV lights just that it actually damaged uh, the Game Boy camera boxes that were in there, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but yeah, boxed NES games there. Then just beneath that, we've got obviously Mega Man, and we've got Thunderous there as well. We've got all these American NTSC loose SNES games. So we've got Double Dragon, we've got Super Smash TV, uh, Magical Quest, we've got the original Street Fighter 2, uh, we've got Shaq Fu, <laughs> I actually like that, and we've got NBA All-Star Challenge. Got some more Super Famicom games boxed just beneath it as well. Uh, some of these are good, some of these aren't. This is a uh, game of life, uh, it's not very good. Got Romancing Saga, which is quite good. Galaxy Wars, which is possibly one of the most annoying games I've ever played in my life. Uh, we've got uh, Puyo Puyo, which is really cool as well. And one of my favorites, Crayon Shin Chan. <laughs> Love Crayon Shin Chan, it's so funny. And then down here, we've got a selection of PS1 games, um, and now obviously not all these are great, but some of them are all right. We've got Time Crisis here, we've got Rage Racer, we've got Hidden and Dangerous, Theme Park World, Rugrats Search for Reptar, we've got uh, Tony, Tony Hawk's Skateboarding, one of my favourite PS1 games, Wu-Tang Taste of Pain, which is interesting to say the least, we've got Tekken 2 down here again, uh, we've got Star Sweep, Worms Armageddon, We've got WCW Mayhem, Smackdown 1 and 2, Street Skater, all kinds of stuff here. And we've got a few here, Celebrity Deathmatch, uh, Tokyo World Tours. And we've got a few uh, DVDs, we've got Mortal Kombat there, the original film. 
Uh, Harold and Kumar Christmas, which is so, so funny. Oh, I kind of wish I watched it over Christmas now. Didn't. Uh, we've got Ghost in the Shell, and we've got Red Dwarf, just the shows. So now I'm kind of showing you like a new part. We're gonna, I'm going to show you basically where all my boxed SNES games are. So they're all here now. So because I just didn't have enough room from elsewhere. So it, apart from this, this is uh, Pokemon Stadium 1, like the very, very first one that came out on the Japanese N64. Not a lot of people know about this, but you only got a set amount of Pokemon that you could actually use. Um, I think it was actually 64 or 63. It, you couldn't, or maybe even 40. This is 40 there, but yeah, you couldn't use them all. Uh, and is the original iteration, so this is number one, then their number two is the western number one, and then number three is the western number two. If that makes any sense. Uh, so yeah, all these boxed glorious SNES games just behind Super Star Wars. I'll show you some of the front covers because they're just so awesome. Got um, got Clock here as well, uh, got the Lost Vikings back here, solid case. Uh, we've got Killer Instinct right here. That was so cheap. I think that ended up costing me like six pounds. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a CD in it, but um, we've got Super Mario Kart back there as well. You can see that Donkey Kong, Equinox, Dr. Mario, and Tetris, what I showed you earlier. Mortal Kombat 3 and Yoshi's Island. We've got the, just right there. Mickey Mania. Another magical quest game, NBA Jam, and um, we've got Out to Lunch back there too. Unholy Night. Now this game is not very good at all, but it's another video for another day. Then we've got a bunch of DS games, PSP games, some DVDs. That I've, that most of the DVDs were 10p or 20p. We've got a bunch of GameCube games back there as well. We've got Pokemon Coliseum. Uh, we've got Virtual Striker, Super Monkey Ball. Really want to add Eternal Darkness to my collection soon. And then we've got more PlayStation 2 games. So that's another like, you know, two piles there with other two piles back there. Obviously they're just so common and they're so cheap. Uh, we've got Wii games. Uh, we've got Mario, Paper Mario Land, Trauma Center, Smackdown, Tony Hawk's, At Me Arsenal. Some PS3 games here too. Uh, PS3 collection is not too bad. Um, I think I've got a few more dotted around in places as well. Uh, I've got Time Crisis, uh, Raising Storm, which I actually really liked. Uh, Final Fantasy XIII up there as well. And then we've got some Xbox, Xbox One and Xbox 360 games there. Just games that I've just collected over the years from just going to the booth fairs and stuff. Uh, got darts board there. Uh, got Sonic Spinball poster. Got a nice Mega Drive poster there. Uh, Ash Ketchum poster. Which one would you, will you pick, the red or the blue one? I picked the blue one. And then we've got a cutout from a Street Fighter comic, which is, I decided to cut that out, it looks so cool. Uh, so yeah, just cut that out and put that on the wall. And then we've got all these SNES games, and I call this the Spindle of SNES. And basically, all it is, is just loads of SNES games in a spindle. So some of the highlights we've got here, we've got Jungle Book, we've got Mario All-Stars, we've got uh, Super Putty, Super Fire Pro Wrestling, Got James Bond Jr., Alien 3, Mario All Stars and Mario World uh, combination pack, Clay Fighter 63, no, sorry, not Clay Fighter 63, but just Clay Fighter, uh, John Madden, rest in peace, Bubsy, yeah, we've got a, and yeah, I just love this thing. It used to be like for, for uh, birthday cards, so I just found it on the street. I thought it would be perfect for SNES games. And it's just a little shot of where I sit and stuff, really. So, that was my room tour for 2022. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Spend a lot of time in here. Uh, do, obviously, a lot of my YouTube in here. Do my streams in here. Do my gaming in here. Uh, and, obviously, just like do a lot of my general life living in here. So, uh, it'd be really nice to... Hear what you guys think uh, no matter where you are in the world i would love hearing your comments i'll always reply to all of them and uh yeah if you enjoyed that drop a like consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next one